Hello everybody, I'm Ken O'Connor. I'm Josh Brennan. And welcome back to the only podcast with two hetero males. JK. Well, okay, Ken. <laughs> yes, welcome back to the JK podcast. Wow. <laughs> no, I, gotta, I gotta stick up for myself. I'm, I, <laughs> Boy, what, what, what's wrong, Joshy? Um, sir. Yes? Um, yeah. I think you lied right there. Uh, I said JK. No. Wait, no. I mean, the JK made it the lie. How, how so, sir? 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 Sir, please. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the JK Podcast. It is currently May 15th, around 9.26 p.m. on the Thank East Coast. You. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact time for Mr. Josh Bramman. Though technically, if you want to go really back to what I said specifically, this would be one of those times where you could round up and get away with it. Because it's not on some nice round even number. Well, Though it's technically an even number. It's but. exactly 927 now, so there you go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's basically 930. There you go, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Can we just make this entire podcast talking about the time? Because it's currently 927, 11 seconds in, 12 seconds in, 13 seconds in. Well, I tried the Apple Watch, actually. Oh, yeah, you talked about that. Yeah, so that's more time stuff. And now I've been watching. So after that, I've been now looking at so many reviews of it just because, mm -hmm. even though I don't have the money to buy it whatsoever. But everyone's saying, you know, oh, wait for the second model. It's not necessarily. Yeah, that's what I'm pretty much waiting for, too. It's like oh. with the iPad. I didn't buy the iPad till they finally put ret uh, the retina display in. So I waited for like. Well, that was a while. Yeah, it was the third generation. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so this was, I guess, in place of our, like, we don't have a special opening today. No, just start. As we did last week. It's going to be a very laid-back episode. You and me don't really have too, too much to, like, really discuss. But, hey, we're keeping on with this weekly podcast thing. Yeah, man. And um, if I sound a little bit different to anyone today, I'm using a new <laughs> microphone. So, just in case this sounds really bad, it's because I'm not used to the new microphone yet. Yeah, if it sounds bad, please let us know. Yeah, and blame me. Because we were debating this before, so... Well, Josh is convinced that I sound way too low on his end, but on my computer, it says I'm recording fine. I can see the levels, and it all looks good. Well, but I also mean if you listen to our podcasts, it sounds like I'm higher. In the past episode, Skype has been lowering my microphone, so that's why, but I think that we're all good now. We'll let see. me just double check. If anyone cares to comment on that... If you're an audio helps. person, let us know what you think. Fong, how do I sound? Forget if you're an audio person. Just be like, yeah, he sounds higher. Like, I, <laughs> like one thing. <laughs> that's all. But, um. How you doing, Joshy? Well, Ken, uh, you know, I'm doing pretty good, actually. Pretty good? I've been complaining about all tests and whatnot. Only got one more thing. Oh, one more week. Freeze. <laughs> Dude, you're breaking up like Still crazy go. right now. What? Really? He's like, I have one more. Free. <laughs> Honestly, that's how it feels. So there you go. <laughs> and now your quality just dropped. Woo. This is going to be a rough show, guys. We're sorry for this. Okay, honestly, wait. Do you want to stop it and I'll switch? No, no, no. You, just, you, you got better. It just got really bad for a second. What's the problem with the... Well, you're, you're, still, you're still on college Wi-Fi, so I don't blame you. Yeah, I mean, between the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi, either or, there's always this period that just periodically comes up where the connection just dies. Well, there's like it's there's there's what? a time when everyone's on the network together. Like, back when I was at Westchester, like, around, like, this time at night, you could not use the Internet. It would slow down to, like, a churn. You couldn't play anything. Like, no videos would play because everyone was online. When you got to, like, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., when everyone's passed out, you had the fastest mm -hmm. Internet in the world. It was amazing. Well... It's not like that, though. This is more of, like, for a stretch of, like, a, a minute or so, all of a sudden it'll just, like, die, and then it'll be fine the next minute for, like, 15 minutes, and then all of a sudden it'll go again. Like, it's... And that's whenever. Like, does not matter what time. Because I've been up till all hours, and it, it's happened, so... Internet's weird. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, I've been pretty good. Um, as... I guess you sort of heard, basically free. Yep, you're almost sort free. Of. You sort can of. come home and record three average gamers. Yay. Oh, oh, oh. 
I bet everyone's looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to recording again. It's been <laughs> such a long like time. You, me, Pete did like just the three of us together. Like season two, we had so much tag plus. Because. Hey, don't get me wrong. Tag, gotta... tag plus is amazing. Just there's something special Fong, about you. We love you. <laughs> Fong, <laughs> cousin Thomas, other people who've been on the show. We love you all. Once we started Plus, that's about all we had. Um, <laughs> yeah, but no, we officially <laughs> called it Plus. Exactly. Back in season one, we were just like, hey, c- come over here. Just y- sit there. Okay, here's a controller and just play. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, did you see on one of the comments that Frank now wants to be? I did. I did, yeah. I, I want to get Frank Our on the show. Ex publicist. Our ex publicist. We fired him because he wasn't actually doing his job. And now he wants, he's crawling back to us. Literally crawling. Yeah, he can't really walk. No. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Frank. Sorry, buddy. See, now, can we make that I doubt he's going to watch this kind of joke on this? I don't know. Frank, if you're listening mm. to this, let us know. <laughs> you know, actually, thank you to everyone out there, by the way, for people tuning in to listen. I've been seeing the viewer um, count going up every single week. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's been pretty nice, actually. Yeah, so thank I, you very much. I felt bad. We had um, let me uh, let me see him pull up his name. We had someone who commented on our last video. Uh, you sent me the link to the no me torta, and we didn't ex- you didn't explain what it was until after I watched it. So he uh, commented. Yeah. Let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, oh, that's on the video. Yeah, uh, nine nine uh, Matt eight nine nine. That's the guy who commented. He said at thirty four twenty. What just happened there? <laughs> and oh. I, I sent him the link to the no me torta. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. Yeah. It, it's hard to, it, like, that's the one problem with, um, like, the podcast. An audio stuff. based podcast, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't be like, I can't spell it out. I'll be like, go to youtube.com slash watch question mark. You know, like, it, it's you too see, much. If you ever watch uh, Rooster Teeth, they have a, uh, like, four or five podcasts a week, I feel like. They have like an actual like la- like lounge. They have big cameras that stream the podcast, all their own yeah. like professional microphones. And they have a booth like off screen that whenever they want to show a video or show a clip or show a picture, they're like working to get the pictures up on the screen for the people watching the live stream. It's very, very oh, okay. cool. It's very cool actually. I mean technically you could do that. I mean I could do it I can do it in post, but I remember I was Well that's get... what I mean. Well we're we're not doing it live anyway, but I'm saying like no, if it are. really comes down to it, you can add like the link on the dude, page like just uh, no dude, we're live. Oh yeah? We're on Twitch. Oh. Yeah. Hello everyone. No <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I would okay, like even if you are on Twitch, there's maybe what, one person maybe watching for one second. There's and two, like, well, both of them are me. So <laughs> One is you on your computer, one's you one's on your phone. phone. And the Honestly, iPad. That's what my brother does. Except <laughs> well part of, part of it is though to check on the chat, because like the way he had it set up when he was playing some games it would be full screen, so like it'd be tough to go back and forth. That's what I do on the PS That's what I do on the PS that's what I do on the on the uh, PS4. I have the, oh, just the gameplay. Because yeah, you have to be able to see it, right? Exactly. So, and it'd but like it's I, funny though because it counts as a viewer. I know. So I always think, like, cool. I'll log on on my phone, my computer, my iPad, and everyone just to get, like, oh, look, there's four viewers. Just so it crawls above the no viewer, one viewer, oh, like, I know. thing. It's like starting a fire. Get a little kindling, and there you go. Now we got it going. You know, we should do that one night. If we ever decide to, like, live stream at some point, and mm-hmm. if we have, like, so many of us together, just pull out every single, like, device and get on that thing. <laughs> we'll get up to, like, maybe ten people. <laughs> Uh, we might video game podcasts do very well on Twitch from what I've seen, and I'm working with uh someone right now to get uh get some streaming like overlays and stuff going on. So who knows? You might there see that is. on Twitch very soon. Whoa! It only took us like I like it, Ken. It only took us like what like ten months to get on iTunes. Um, <laughs> another ten will be well, on Twitch. See, but you're accounting for the six month gap. Why did we take such a long break? Do we ever discuss that? Well, we got depressed after the... Oh, after we lost episode three. That's right. And then then a whole problem happened where I realized, oh my god, I have a ton of work. And then we just never, like, 
I don't know. I never heard from you. Like, when are we recording or something? So I was just like, uh, well, that's and then the I was just bogged down. I, I really wanted you to get like acclimated to the work. I didn't want to be like, Joshy, we got to record. Come on, man. But after you're done with mm-hmm. your first semester, you said you sounded much more confident. Like, yeah, I've kind of got a good balance of the workload. So I'm like, okay, now we can actually try stuff again, I think. Yeah. I mean, ideally the grades will show up like that, but I think I've gotten accustomed to how you approach everything in law school. So I, I've been able to make some more time for myself and study more efficiently instead of homework doing like homework that's like two or three hours long. Maybe you take an hour off of that. So I save some time here and there. So that's why I can carve out times like this and stuff. So. And I really appreciate all your work, sir. Again, like doing this stuff with you is really like such a blast. Even if it doesn't get the most most views, I have so much fun doing this stuff with you. <laughs> well, thank you. I enjoy it too. Good. I'm glad. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I hate it. What? <laughs> I mean, I hate it, but I'm here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my paycheck? <laughs> Seriously, give me my like two cents that we made so far. No. Yo. <laughs> Actually, that might be accurate. Um, uh, our last episode made a dollar forty so far. Whoa! We can almost buy something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll buy you a dollar burrito from Taco Bell. Nice. You know this guy yesterday? Cause okay, so my finals ended yesterday. Okay. Well, the actual tests themselves aside from this writing thing I yes, have to do. I gotcha. And um a bunch of us went out to like some bar place or whatever that we like had the back area or something. And all of a sudden these other people started coming in, I guess because as it got later we didn't technically have it reserved. And there was this one guy that um came around, like some old guy with like almost like a beret, I guess. It was kind of weird. But he was like, hey, free money. And he's like handing out stuff. And I see it at the corner of my eye. And it looks like just dollar bills. I'm like, what the heck? And like, <laughs> so he walks over to like me and people I'm talking to. And he's like, hey, free money. Like same exact line. Like he repeated himself. <laughs> like every single person around the room. But <laughs> it was some like cheap printed dollar bill with like Obama's face on it. And it was something, I don't know, some sort of thing. <laughs> and then attached to it though was like his business card for computer help. I'm like, this is the weirdest thing. I thought it was like either a a re-election or like we hate Obama campaign. If you put Obama on the dollar. I mean, I was kind of hoping for that aside from this like computer. Like I was hoping it'd actually match up. Like You you, you turned to him, sir, this is not match. And I know more about you about computers. Please keep going. No, seriously. There was this business card on there. It looked like, okay, there was one picture on there. And you know how, like, people try and make their own logo or at least have their name. Like, you know, they try and make it nice as, like, a little something on the side. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, the focal point of the card. It looked like he took a piece of clip art from, like, 2003 or earlier Microsoft Word and put it on there. <laughs> he probably made it in Microsoft Word. Brought no, to, I know, but, like, it, it, from today. it was so obvious. It was the clip art thing of that really old computer uh, monitor. <laughs> like, I, I'm i assuming you have a general idea of what I'm talking about. I think about. I know exactly. Is it the computer that's sick with, with the thermometer in its mouth? Oh, I don't know, actually, because I disposed of that at some point. Because I've seen that night, one. Well, I've seen that one a lot. <laughs> I don't honestly remember 100%, but it was something from there, and it was really funny. Gotcha, gotcha. But, yeah, but, yeah, I was like... You think I need computer help? We're all, like, so much younger than you, and he's apparently, like... I'm like, all right. Back in my day, we didn't have these fancy computer monitors. (laughs) Hey, Billy. Hey. Hey. Who's Billy? (laughs) Do you you remember the the Adventure Time episode where uh, Lady Rainicorn gets the uh, the voice translator? Yeah. Oh. she, she Oh. She sounds like an old man. And, like, the first thing she yeah. says, it's like, hey, Billy, that's why I went to the orchard field and got myself a bunch of apples. <laughs> that's a good episode. That was a really old one. But, I mean, you just rewatched all of them. I just rewatched the first five seasons, so. Okay, most of it, then. Well, they're on season six, so. so. I know, but they have a lot of episodes in season six, actually. They're oh, yeah. up to, like, 35 different ones. I mean, granted, those are generally the, like, 11-minute episodes, but still yeah well they did like 20 episodes each of the first like four seasons and season five was like 50 episodes Mm. it was ridiculous yeah that is true i was going for a long time watching those things 
Mm-hmm. But speaking it of got in- me through finals. Speaking of Adventure Yo. Time, what do you what do, you're caught up now? So what do you uh, what do you think of the show so far? Well, no, it's I mean bad. you you've been watching we've been watching Adventure Time for a while, but you've been far behind for a while. So, uh, I mean it's always just like it's not bad. It has some funny moments. It's not like. Let me, I'm dying let me, of laughter all the time. But. Well, yeah. L- let me ask you some key things that have been happening. What did you think of the uh, the Gunter episode? Uh, which it was, one? It was the flashback episode where the wizards are trying to stop the comment. And you saw like the like how the crown was created. Oh, I felt bad. How like but yeah like how sad was that the end when he puts the crown on and just he's filled with like well, hatred. Honestly, towards himself. I I saw it coming. Oh yeah, I really did, but. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of one of those, like, that's the thing that I sort of do like about the show. It's, it's like, it has its moments where it's really funny, but at some points it does get, like, real. It gets, like, actual serious things that could come up, and, like, I just like, interesting. I just like how consistent with the lore they have, because if you go back to, like, season two, Ice King has a line where he says, like, I didn't steal that crown, I made it with magic that I stole. And, like, it's like, it's like okay, it's wow. a crazy old man line, don't listen to it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. in the episode, uh... Master that is Ever- true, very true. Yeah, Master Evergreen steals the magic to make the crown, and because Gunter wants to be like him, he thinks he's him. So it it, it lines up. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, so I praise the show for that. I mean, the one thing, though, that I'm mad about is... Uh, what's his name? Finn should still be with Flame Princess. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started about that. That was messed up. Though he brought it upon himself, but like, because he had a weird like fetish thing for watching Ice King. I know that's fucking... kind of odd, but <laughs> yeah, like he but wakes like, up. Okay, come on, couldn't they have worked past that? I think realistically, they, I think they could have if he hadn't used personal information to make Flame Princess mad. Because like True. when like the last line was like, "You can't even kiss Finn without freaking out." Like like mm. that like compare that to like a big like issue between two people in a relationship, and you start telling people that. That's kind of messed up. And so it's not as severe because it, it is a kid show and they can't like say something serious. But yeah. I think it represented that pretty well, actually. I know. It's just I didn't want it to happen. <laughs> and now she's with Cinnamon Bun. Is she actually with him, Yes, though? Yes, they are actually. Like, like they are a couple. Dating. Yeah, because after, no. the, after the episode where he saves her from her father. after No, her... I know. I know all that. They run away, et cetera, whatever. But I thought it was more of she still tr- – like she treated him as a really good friend and kind of protect no, her guy. No, at the end he says, I love you, and she says, I love you too. No, I know. Did she answer back? Yeah, and she gives him a hug and a kiss. And then Finn's like, wow, I just got I just got out beat by Cinnamon Bun. Oh, well, I remember that. Yeah, okay. But I, I didn't remember her responding. I know that she like did the hug or whatever, kiss maybe. But, like, I didn't think she actually verbally said anything. She's had but... a few appearances now, too, where she and Cinnamon Bun are on dates together, like, working out or, like, doing that oh, stuff. I, oh, well, I know that thing. Yeah, they were, like, doing yoga all of a sudden, and he was, like, looking. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was funny, because he was looking through binoculars trying to see what so- someone was up to or yeah. something, or he heard something, and then he looks over, and he sees that going on, <laughs> and then... Jake was like, no, 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 it's like lemon grab, I think. I can't really tell because uh, he's like, this, these are just really tubes because you just see him using his hands as binoculars. Yeah, yeah. He's like, give me the real thing. I don't know. I thought it was funny the way he said <laughs> it. But... Lemon uh, grab, though, it's very interesting. Yeah. So. Oh, the lemon grab stuff? That was really odd. I don't like lemon hope. I love lemon hope. <laughs> He bothers me. I just when we first met, when we first met him, I wanted him to do so much more than what he had actually ended up doing. But his episode yeah. was so like like trippy, like it was like a the weird one like where he's in the desert in the ship and then in the guy's cloud vehicle. Yeah, thing. and then he goes back and he fights Lemon Grab and saves the kingdom. And he's like, I want I don't want to rule. He just wanders the earth the rest of his life. Yeah, I mean. He could have done more. They could have made it better. I want to see him come back, but I don't think he will. But again, it was a really interesting. Like there was, there was a really interesting story they did with Lemon Grab over that season. Yeah. How he like he ate his like twin, and then like he like lost all control and yada yada. Yeah. Um. What was the other thing? Actually, no. I guess the Flame Princess was the big thing for me. Mm-hmm. 
album. What about uh, Meeting Finn's Dad? Oh, he's a jerk. I hate him. I absolutely hate him. The problem is Finn keeps trying to get with them and be like, hey, Dad, come on. Well, the last like, time oh. we saw him was when he was uh, taking advantage of those little snowman people, right? That is true. And then yep. Finn just kind of launches him off and like has like, a little smile on his face. like, Yeah, so yeah. hopefully that's the end of it. I just want to know, A, what he did to get into the that jail. Yep. And, like, every time Finn asks, like, where's my mom or why'd you leave me? Like, he's never he hasn't given Finn a straight answer. He's like, oh, you were on a boat and there was a tiger and seaweed. Because he, which, first of all, okay, now when you heard tiger, did you immediately think of the movie? Uh, Life of Pi. Yes. Yes. Do you think that's what they were going off of just as a quick little joke? No, I think it was just that it's just complete nonsense. I think that Finn's dad isn't a bad guy. Just something happened where he's just spitting nonsense. Kind of like how the Ice King isn't a bad guy. He just spe- uh, speaks nonsense. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I get you completely on that. Oh, but you, I mean, like a reference from like the designers, you mean? Like the artists? Yeah, when they're like, we need to come up with outrageous things. Let's quote that movie indirectly. Uh, Yeah, I, I can kind of see it, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I thought it was actually kind of clever, and I was actually surprised they got away with that. But I guess it's not like it. it anyone could say tiger. It's not like it's copyright or something. Yeah, yeah. But the tiger on but, a boat is yeah. Yeah. Though, how many other tiger on a boat things do you know of? So yeah, very. Oh, yeah. but freaking glob. <laughs> very. <laughs> freaking uh, glob grod like that. Like the uh, the guy on Mars. They sacrificed. He died. Them- they sacrificed themselves just to offshoot his spaceship. It- and it was just the dad. I know. It, it wasn't some comet. And the comet's still coming. They keep showing it. it it's it's still coming. It, it. I just. Yeah, that that's more of a reason why I don't like the dad. And that was a great thing in the uh, the episode with the with the crown. They showed that comet then, and that's the comet that a wiped out the dinosaurs and brought magic to the world. And mm-hmm. when the uh, and when the nuclear the mushroom war happens, it like activates that magic and that's why things like become all crazy in adventure time so if it's mm. if it's if this comet now is coming back they said it comes back every like thousand years or so which it's been over a thousand years like what's gonna happen and it, like i'm looking at the episode titles and it's referred the last couple episodes referred to the comet it'll be interesting yeah I'll tell you that but i guess meeting his dad was good though because now he has a fin sword Oh, the, like fin, the fin sword is so cool. That's his best sword yet. Because it's just, it's him and a sword. Yeah. It's so cool. Well, actually, no, it didn't involve his dad then. That was just Prismo. That, that was Prismo, yeah. That was Prismo's backup plan in case he ever died. I was just trying to think if that stemmed from anything else prior. No, because then he had flower arm. and he, That was funny. That he was weird when he, when he lost his arm for a while. That was pretty messed up. I know. I was like, wait, is this how the show is going to be going now? Because... I'm like, I haven't watched in a while. Is this really it? In every but, in every future version we see a Finn, he he's always missing his arm. Like we went to when uh, they went to like the uh, real world kind of area, he had like a wrench thing for an arm. When he was in the pillow oh, world, yeah, yeah. when he was in the pillow world, he got a pillow arm eventually because he lost his arm. Uh, he sees himself like daydreaming about himself in the future. He has like a big metal like robot arm. He always loses his arm for some reason. So when he lost no, his okay. arm, I'm like, okay. His dad took his arm. That's incredibly like, deep. Like, what are they going to, like, do to come off of that? Yeah. And then he just grows it right back. Which, yeah, I mean, it was kind of weird. He's like, Dad, but... I'm gonna, I was going to take off your arm when I saw you. So you're not going to take my arm off anymore? No, of course not. Okay, good. He says, he shows his arm is still there. Dad, you lied. Such oh, yeah, a, that was terrible. Such a jerk. I hate Finn's dad so still much. Still more of a reason why I don't like him. Oh, my God. Yeah. But the last two episodes wow. of this season are called The Comet and then Hot Diggity Doom. Oh, baby. And then the show's not coming back for a while because they have that eight-part... I don't know if that's the movie they've been talking about or something special, but it's like an eight-part miniseries that starts off season seven. All right. Yeah. It just It's called Ste- Stakes Part 1, Stakes Part 2, Stakes Part 3, all the way down to Part 8 for titles for the first eight episodes. So I don't know what, I don't know what that is yet or... Anything but, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, now, as a really, really long loop to connect back way to the beginning. So, Ken, how are you? (laughs) 
Uh, I'm good, Joshy. I'm doing good. It was a very uh, quick week at work. Nothing too crazy going on. So, yeah, no real complaints here. I've been working all week to set up, get the uh, new setup in the uh, room done. I have a new digital SLR camera for face uh, cam stuff. I have the lighting mm-hmm. set up. I have the new uh, microphone on with the arm up, all set up. So, yeah, I'm going to be recording lots of uh, Con King Plays videos this weekend, I think. Whoa, what are you going to play? Um, I'm not sure yet. I wanted I wanted what? I want to go through um I think Broken Age part 2 finally came out so I've been waiting to play part 1 I've waited for part 2 so I can play part 1 so I can play them both at the same time so I might do that it's a, a point and click adventure game Okay uh, yeah I have literally So you're saying games. it's it's basically putt putt y- Yes it is actually <laughs> Putt putt okay. travels their time Great game we got to play the You're zoo welcome. one soon. I thought it wasn't out. It came out like the the day after we recorded last year. Oh, all right. We like, got to get on that. Like we ch- remember we checked the article. It's like, oh, they're all coming out. Pup Put Saves the Zoo comes out a week later for some reason. <laughs> Why? Why would they do that? <laughs> wasn't it some guy with cheeseburger in his Twitter? Yes, it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um. <laughs> Uh, what was I going to mention? Oh, so speaking about Kind King Plays. That's me. As people are probably aware of, you have put out a video of you playing the global test fire of Splatoon. That is right. Now, you put up basically an hour's worth of content. That is right. As we've debated, and I still don't agree with the concept, but they have hour time slots. They had three one hour time slots. Did you hear, though? They're, They're coming doing... out with one more. Yes, I know, because it did so well last time. And I will try my best to actually get on that and play it, because I might have the opportunity. I don't know. Because that's on the 23rd. Now, that's the Saturday of next week. Yeah, but week three and... comes out. And, well, the one thing is, though, I won't be actually home. So I got to see how that's working. Maybe I'll play it, maybe not. But my faith has actually been restored in the game. <gasps> Hallelujah. 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 Honestly, not really thanks to your gameplay. Hallelujah. <laughs> what do you mean not my gameplay? I don't know, man. My never, gameplay never... is amazing. My gameplay was retweeted by the actual Nintendo Twitter account. No, it wasn't. I, I, I checked your sources. It, it was made by a fan a fan made account that's responsible for trying to get people supporting Splatoon. Wait, really? But, yeah, I looked no, into it. No, it's Nintendo America, it said. No, I looked into it. I'm checking right now. All right, anyway, hear me out though. For like don't get distracted. Hold on. I'm not distracted. Um yeah. <laughs> I'm young, All right, boy. fine. I'm just gonna talk to the people listening. Go ahead. Hi everyone. Hi. Um <laughs> so the biggest thing about Splatoon, if you haven't seen it by the like million things that Nintendo has put out in the past year about it, it's Nintendo's version of a shooter. We explained it sort of last time, and uh, I never had faith in it because it's you know Nintendo trying to make a shooter game. I, I'm used to Call of Duty and all that stuff. Oh, it is a fan account. God damn it! Yeah, yeah, but um, and you know I've I watched like your video, Ken. And I've watched some videos on YouTube because I'm like, I didn't get a chance to play the demo. So let me at least see how people are playing it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I understand the concept. I understand the whole team game. You know, I'm used to that, whatever. But and oh, kills don't get any scores. But, you know, kills are a vital component because that opens up paths to, you know, make your way into certain territory, whatever. And, um, you know, just people weren't taking advantage of all the features that I can easily see out there maybe that's just because i've played so many shooters over like the past i don't even know six seven years now okay and i like competitively whatnot like really serious like i can see strategies people aren't doing no one's checking around their back like so many people like you included get run over by a paint roller where you should have obviously checked right there kind of thing so i don't know it it kind of bothers me when i watch that kind of stuff but um I finally had some faith restored when there was this one guy on YouTube that was playing and he had apparently played it at E3 when they had it last year. Okay. So he knew what he was doing and apparently he's played at least some sort of shooters in the past. 
and he was doing some nice tactics and, you know, going in and coming out of the ink, shooting, killing someone quickly, diving across, jumping across, you know, all these really fast motions. Like, that's what I envisioned when I see this game and no one was doing it. So this guy was finally doing it. Of course, he was, like, beating everyone because no one else is doing it. But my faith got restored in that. Well, keep in uh, mind, again, when I played, that was my first time playing the game. I only had an hour to play. Like, even, like, in the, the training opening, thing, I couldn't figure out how to do, like, the speed jumping with the squid ability yet. Like That is true. But I don't know. I feel like you didn't. You still didn't do all the jumping features. Like you never really attempted to. I That's start, the one. By the end, I started getting better. I was shooting up the walls and climb. Like I, when I tried the different classes, like with the roller class, there's not really much you can do. So I just roll. When I used the other yeah, couple I classes, I was able to do much more. Like spray up the side of a wall, get to the top of the wall, and start sniping from above. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just from what I saw, though, there were a lot more advanced tactics, which I would have liked to see on some oh, def- people definitely. playing. Oh, definitely. I saw him doing it, and that's stuff I envisioned. Like, though, I can't play for myself, so, like, I don't know exactly what's possible, but, like, he was finally making it evident, and I was like, oh, that, exactly, that's how you should be playing. So it was nice to see. And now here's the really, I don't like to admit this whatsoever, but then I was looking, and I got, you know how you get some of those emails? I don't know why I'm on this email list, but uh, from YouTube, where they, like, oh, here are your subscribed things. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it is. Too many things. But it said that Nintendo put up some video and it was like their E3 sneak thing, which we'll probably talk about in a second. Yes, we will. Hello. Something just very recently about them playing Splatoon again. And I'm like, are you kidding me? But they were showing their test fire thing. And I was like, fine, I'll watch this. I hate Treehouse people, but I'll watch it. And okay. A couple of them weren't that great out of, like, the four people playing. But the one main guy that was doing it, he was also playing like that guy that I watched on YouTube or whatever. He had all the advanced skills. He was doing those jumping tactics. He was moving in and out. He was doing strategic stuff. It was what I like to see. That's how I would approach the game. It was very nice. And now I would like to try it myself. So I am excited about the game. Hopefully you do because I had a lot of fun with that game. Like there was yeah, a- I mean, because like, I I love those types of games. I love shooters. I love all that stuff. So the fact that it's first of all free online, because I hardly have time consistently, so to pay for like Xbox Live or something, like it's too much. Like I just don't. It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. But some free little shooter that I can play for fun, and I like the concept. It's cool. So sure, I'm excited for it. So yeah. there you go, Ken. Thank you, there jo- you go. Thank you, Joshy. You've finally seen the light. No, I, I still think there are way too many people to play Nintendo that have not played that many shooters, so it's <sighs> going to be kind of bad for a while. But I'm just saying. But that's why there's a ranking system, right? So, you know, it's to work up. It's to get better. Yeah. And maybe that means I'll just climb the ranks really fast. Hey. <laughs> but, you know, as long as you have you're fun so at the hum- end of the You're day, so humble tonight, Joshy. Yo, I got you. I'm relaxed, man. You sound relaxed. You sound cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that game is coming out very soon. Now, okay, then I'll actually bridge it to this. So the game is coming out on May 29th. Yep. Correct? Yep. Now, there was something released as of either today or yesterday, also coming out on May, tw- May 29th from Nintendo. Not a game. It is an amiibo. One. One amiibo. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Thank you. Sil- it is the Silver, Silver Mario. Mario. We've known that for months. I know, but it's the that's date's not, coming up. That's not new, though. You said, that, you said a new amiibo. We've known about him for months. Well, it's new to me, because I don't follow it. But <sighs> I've been waiting for 48 minutes to hear this, Josh. God damn it. <laughs> So the Silver before, Mario before the show, out. no, before the show began, Josh was like Kenneth, I'm gonna talk about this new amiibo thing on the show. I'm like, what new amiibo thing? I'm gonna save it so you're surprised because I had no idea what he was talking about. And this, this is what you revealed to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good, man. I was taking some water. I, I had the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's coming out on the 29th as well, so I'm assuming for everyone out there that collects Amiibos, it'll be gone in about the first hour, so 
good luck. Well, um, it's interesting. For, the, for like when they did the Gold Mario, that was a Walmart exclusive. This is just mm-hmm. going to be it's going to be anywhere. Just go find yeah. one. So That's why I said an hour as opposed to like 5 hours before the store opens. Yes. So <laughs> I'll, I'll pro- I'm saying an hour once it opens. That's pretty generous. I'll probably still go really early in the morning again though, just in case. That doesn't shock me. But um you know, then I was watching some video made by Game Informer actually, which is weird. I don't know how I got linked to this, but it was um, by some people that do Game Informer videos or, I don't know, something associated with them. But they were doing something on Amiibos and they were making it like almost like an HSN, you know, Home Shopping Network <laughs> kind of like infomercial thing. And they were doing it as like a Nintendo one, Nintendo Shopping Network or something. And it was like the two people standing there at like a desk and they're like they have all the Amiibos lined up or like a few of them or something. And they were explaining and then they're like, and now we have this exclusive uh, villager amiibo, and then all of a sudden, like, he, like, leans into, you know, like, they could wear the earpiece kind of stuff? Yeah. So he, like, leans oh, in for a second. Oh, we just like, sold out. <laughs> and we just sold out of those. He immediately takes it off the thing. <laughs> I think he was like, you know, we just got 200 of these villager amiibo, and then the second he said, oh, and we're sold out. You know, it's unfortunate for you guys that just missed out on that. <laughs> I and was lucky. They br- kept, oh, sorry. They kept doing that stuff. It was funny. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm lucky. It's good uh, Brian helped me get a uh, a Martha amiibo finally. Very nice. Because they nice. just restocked him in America. So now I'm missing three amiibo, and I have all of the current ones that are out. Pretty cool. I'm missing. Oh, the- and actually, oh, that reminds me when you just said you almost have all. There was this one guy that then they took a collar on the thing. And it's funny because I think this was the moment where, like, all the people that are going crazy after the Amiibos, so you included, you would, like, this is your moment. Like, that is your speech that this guy said. Like, he said this one, like, speech for, like, a minute and a half that was, like, exactly what you're struggling with, their distribution whatnot. And it, it was it was funny the way he was ranting about it. And then it was something where then as he was ranting about this, all of a sudden – they were advertising like three more of them, and he's like, and all of a sudden, oh, and these two are already sold out. He's like, no, 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 wait, I'll take them, I'll take them. And then it was something like that, like he was getting desperate because then he was ranting, but then the amiibos being advertised were sold. That's really and funny. There was actually. only like, there was only a Meta Knight one left. I don't know if that's rare or not. Uh, he's Maybe. yeah, he's pretty rare. He was Best Buy exclusive. Oh, because if anything, they were just I guess doing it for the video. But so only the Meta Knight out of the three was still available out of that batch they were showing, and. He's like, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take them all. I'll take them all. <laughs> like just all the Meta Knights are like, we have 97 of these left. Are you sure? Yes, just give it to me. <laughs> this whole thing. And then they're like, see, now you could have been like this guy to, you know, just spend a, $1,200. And <laughs> uh, I don't know. People do it, though. You were saying Brian buys multiple copies of these things. Yeah, he buys the rare ones. Yeah, like multiple of them. Well, he isn't, he, like, he won't, like, buy, like, like 10 or 20, but like one or two extra for someone. Mm. But I don't know. So it's a pretty good video for anyone out there. I don't know how you really search it. I don't remember what it was, but something by Game Informer, sort of Nintendo Shopping Network. I don't know. Look it up. I just, pick, I just picture like an old, an old lady calling on, yes, my grandson likes the Mario Amiibo. He plays with it every day. Oh, God. Well, they'll have that one in stock. That is true. Yes, they'll have lots of <laughs> Mario Amiibos. Regular though, not gold and not silver. Yeah, silver comes out next week or two weeks actually. Uh, hey, yeah. Um, actually, yeah, exactly two weeks from today. Yep. Pretty as, cool. as the time of recording, this probably goes. This will probably go up tomorrow morning in terms of. You said we're live on Twitch, Ken. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that. Josh, oh, okay. Josh, see... what's the name of the show? I know. I was just about. Yep. You. You were just. You were JK. You're clever, Ken. You're clever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had nothing to say to that. I know. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let him have to deal with this. So I, I just didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, um, oh, so the one other thing. Really quick, because, you know, I have to get in my little Pokemon news, of course, every single time. 
Um, it's funny because Nintendo now officially, officially um, revealed Hoopa's next unbound form. We talked about this about. already. No, 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 no. Now there was actual article put out by Japan as of yesterday or something like it was weird. Something else about it. And then they're making this whole now it's officially I'm like, what? I don't know. So shows how behind they are. But um the one other thing, people are saying more and more now, just rumors, that it's gonna the announcement coming out in just a little under a week. So by the way, we're gonna have to talk about this. Mm -hmm. That whole May twenty first thing. People are just like, it's going to be about the Pokken tournament because that's Japanese only right now. That's a Japanese news source that's coming out with it. So everyone's kind of putting it together, so it's kind of depressing. I but don't think it would be that either. They're, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping I'm wrong. They've been, so they've been slowly I'm giving out information for other characters since the first announcement, so I don't think they would like, oh, just to remind you, more P Tekken, Pokken stuff. No, but I, I think, if anything, though, it's only that game. Like, there's not, like... No, like, I I'd want it to be They're they're going to talk other. about they're going to talk about the next actual game, I think. I hope, but you never know. But anyway, Again, so really not much new on the Pokémon. Announce, it, Pokemon announce it next week, show it off more at E3, comes out in November. You'd like to think so. so That's we'll what they've see. been doing the last but, 2 years in a row. I know, but different media outlet this time, so you know. Uh, I mean. you're crazy. Anyway, um unless people if if you guys play Pokémon Rumble World, I think it is out there. Yep. I think they've been releasing some new codes here and there. Yeah, every other every week or week. so there's like an event or so, a code or something. There was some new, uh, what was it, one of the war water starters. There was some sort of new code for a special one. So if anyone's interested, look into that. Um, the only one other Pokemon thing. I saw this one meme, and it was one of those, your mind has now been blown kind of thing. It was very interesting. I never thought about it. So... Everyone knows, if you don't even know Pokemon, you know of the Pokemon Squirtle, right? Yeah. Everyone knows Squirtle. Yeah. And everyone's like, everyone's like, of course, well, he's like a turtle, Squirtle, I don't know, right? Well, he's a, he's a, it's a, it's a play on squir uh, Squirt, Turtle, and Squirrel. Wait, what? Squirtle, Squirtle's name, it's, it's a play on the words Squirt, like squirting water. He's a turtle, that's where the turtle comes from, and he's a squirrel. His tail is a squirrel tail. Mmm. You are pretty much onto it, Ken. Why would I don't know about I don't know about the squirt part. Yeah, but... squirting water. No, well obviously no, but like that didn't equate into the name. But Squirtle. Um, I just think that was the way that they combined it. But I never thought of it like that. That was what we were saying. Like I know Pokemon so inside out. I've never. Oh, is that the mind? That. Is that the mind blown thing? Yeah, there's. The God damn it, Josh! For, for, it just shows. No, no, no! Stop right there. First, you say Kenneth, new amiibo. <laughs> it's one we've known about for months now. Kenneth, I have this mind blowing Pokemon thing. I'm gonna say for the show. I know. I've known about this since 1990, freaking two, when I was born. Well, you, you are known. failing tonight, sir. It would have been 1998 for you, unless you were very in touch with Japanese media. I was very in touch with Japanese media. That would have been 1996. I came out of the womb using chopsticks, all right? Yeah, but still, you wouldn't have known about it for four years. Not since 1992. Since you, know, anyway. you know what I mean. No. Um, Shut up! So there's, <laughs> so there's just the picture of Squirtle, and it's literally just an arrow pointing to the tail. And it's like Squirtle, and then pointing to the shell, Turtle. And I don't know. I never thought about it. My mind was blown. It's was so like, obvious. I was like, that is fantastic. I never thought about it. Okay, and, and this one you might like. And you know, you okay. like Bla Blastoise and War, and War Turtle. Just never mind. No idea. Okay. Okay, um, forget about it. <laughs> there's one other thing. There's one picture that someone put up. I, I guess turn into like it's one of those like Tumblr things that people like like because you know someone says something someone says whatever and based on a picture but so it's a picture of two people coming online on Skype at one time. Do you have any idea what this is referencing? No. Beautiful. Okay, so this is Pokemon related. There's two people coming on Skype at one time, like to say that they're online, and immediately at the same time it says Jesse, and then the other person is James. They both come online Skype on the same time. 
Okay. And then people write under it, uh, Team Rocket logs in at the speed of light, surrender now or prepare to Skype. And then, Meowth, I can't type. <laughs> <laughs> I thought okay. it was pretty good. That's, you've redeemed yourself a little bit with that one. That's a good one. It, it's pretty creative. I didn't come up with it, but it's funny. Obviously. Also, I think it's somewhat funny because, hey, <laughs> because cause it was a, in all caps. I don't know why that makes it funnier, but just to picture someone all of a sudden figuring this out and shouting it makes, yeah. it, makes it seem fun. Yeah. Uh, also, one other Pokemon meme. There, I mean, there's so many out there, but I just, I don't know, time to time, I pick out really funny ones. And this other one, there's some, I guess, shop somewhere that's called My Indoor Cycle. Like some sort of, I don't know, maybe it's a clever name for like a small gym or something. Because, you know, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then if you've ever seen the Professor Oak meme, it's just a picture of him or whatever. And it's a picture of him and it says this. And then it's like dot, dot, dot. And then under his face it says, this sickens me. (laughs) My (laughs) indoor cycle. (laughs) So I saw a picture of like a, I think it was like a Pokemon trainer in cosplay. And like I guess they they fell down or got hurt at a con. They were like all like like really like bloodied up and like really injured. And like someone yeah. someone typed in a comment, "What happened?" And then someone asked Professor Oak type underneath it. They rode their bike indoors. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, it's dangerous. <laughs> um, and actually, okay, so bridging off of Pokemon, just more generally, maybe sort of to the theme of last episode. Something I was looking at randomly, it was like, I don't know, this was my, I'm so done, I don't want to study, let me look at something really quick before I sleep last night. I was looking at some list of, like, things you might not know about Dragon Ball Z. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Android 17 and 18 actually had names? Because you know how they were actual people? Uh, yes, I, yeah, I, knew, I know their names. Really? What are their names? Uh, let me look it up. Well, no, I, well, let me just say it. Okay. Because it was very interesting based off last episode and Is stuff. Is it one of them Lucy, about... Lucy, I think? No. Well, close. No. Here's the part where it's incredible. Because <clears throat> we're talking about Steven Universe the whole entire time. And you're talking about how you love or, well, I love her at least. I don't remember what your stance was. On Lapis? Do yeah. you like Lapis? Yeah, I love Lapis. You do? Yeah. Okay. So 17 and 18, 17 is the guy, 18 is the girl, right? Yeah. So they had one name each, obviously, first name. 17's name is Lapis. 18's name is Lazuli. Lapis Re- Lazuli. Really? Yeah. Are you sure on this? Not even kidding. Mm-hmm. I think I remember being something different. And that is actually 100% true. Apparently it was like mentioned like one time somewhere and it's actually the thing oh yeah that's right uh l-a-p-i it's not spelled lapis like lapis lazuli it's l-a-p-i-s but the, yeah lapis lazuli very interesting very interesting indeed actually and it's sort of a weird tie-in even though i mean the tie-in is just to the same sort of gem but like interesting yeah very interesting actually did you no. see the newest uh, DBZ Abridged that came out a couple days ago? I honestly don't watch that. So. Oh, Joshy, you would absolutely love it. It's so funny. <clears throat> they're they're up to the I'm cell. Sorry, the, they're up to the uh, the cell arc now, and they just did the episode where uh, uh, cell absor- absorbed uh, seventeen, and they mm-hmm. did the dun 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 well, I don't know. It's, it, that it's, was it's that actually was it was a weird arc when they were doing this stuff. The Android arc is one of the best arcs I think in the show. No, I mean just the forms of Cell. I thought it was kind of odd oh, the yeah. way they named it. like imperfect, perfect, semi perfect, su- something. I don't know. They just and it's been so long now, but I remember all the weird names. But it was funny because then you could like basically play as each of them in the video games. That was always so cool to me. Yeah, but you like you had like a million cell forms. Like, come no, on. it's but just it's. Uh, I know. Once he absorbs the one thing, once he absorbs the other one. Well, it, it's imperfect I, cell, semi-perfect <laughs> cell. Imper- yeah, it's only three forms. I don't know, but it's a lot. That's only three. 
There's so more. No. There's more Super Saiyan forms than there are cell forms. I like those. <laughs> That's the difference, Ken. Uh, J- Joshi, Dragon Ball Z, F. I want F. it. The uh, Resurrection it's called F now? Re- Resurrection F. Oh, the movie? Yeah. Oh. I thought you meant the series. I was like, No, that's, that's S. No, I know. I was like, when did they change the <laughs> letter? <laughs> They're just going with letters now. Next year, Dragon Ball, Z- Dragon Ball Q. Yeah. I, honestly, I wouldn't put it past them, so... Whatever, but um, I don't know, man. I, I'm trying to think of other clever things before you're like, we've heard of that already. Uh, <laughs> okay, but honestly, I think there are people out there that were like, wait, I never heard of that before. Uh, I'm sure there is someone, but you build it up to me like this big thing, and then I'm like, oh, kind of a letdown. I thought it was a big thing. I don't know. I thought it was cool. <laughs> Whatever. You do what you do. Did you see the Assassin's Creed announcement this week? Uh, I didn't even watch anything. I saw, uh, like, by saw, I mean, I read two lines of text that said it came out. Or they, they, they were revealing it. They whatever. announced the new game. It's called Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It takes place in Victorian London. And you play yeah. a, you play as a twins, a male and a female assassin. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really I, I'm so, so behind. On those games, well, see, but the, I really like the series. But the good, the weird thing with those games is like they go like in and out of like quality. It's so like Assassin's Creed Two, amazing. Brotherhood yep. Revelations, still pretty good. Assassin's Creed Three, mm-hmm. horrible, piece of trash. Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed Four, amazing, absolutely amazing. Assassin's Creed Five, aka Unity, piece of trash, garbage, disgusting. So that <laughs> means that this one Syndicate will be fantastic and amazing. Ah, oh, yeah, it's on pace. <laughs> it, is, it is, and like again, after they work out the kinks in the engine, they get another another year to perfect it. The second game is always way, way much, uh, so much better. Yeah, I was supposed to say way well, much better. <laughs> wait, that doesn't make sense. Shut up. It uh, w- way yeah. much better. No, it doesn't make I, sense. I know, yeah, but everyone knows what you mean. It's okay. Forgive and forget. No. <laughs> Live and let die. Bum, bum. Ooh, that's a good song. Oh, did you see... Did you know that Miley Cyrus is doing some sort of hippie charity backyard concert collaboration cover thing? No. That was a lot of descriptive things. Yeah. It (laughs) it kept going. (laughs) Oh, Um, oh, wait. Before you talk about Super Miley Cyrus... The, the way you just talked reminded me of something. Um, Nintendo had their E3 announcement video. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we I, completely I just like upon it yeah, thing. we breezed yeah. over that. But in the video, that one kid who Reggie puts in charge, we should yeah. make a game, um, where you um, oh, no. and then you I, um, I got, um, I got so annoyed watching that. I was like, oh my god, this is. <laughs> Do you have any special talents, kid? Don't hush, no, I I speak Japanese. <laughs> Okay, okay, first of all, I hated the kid just because they always play on the little kids with the whole stuttering and what they're going to say. That's always, like, a well-known thing, so I was like, come on, Nintendo. But I thought it was hilarious, the, though. The greatest moment of all time, my dream basically came true. At the end, he told Bill Trinity <laughs> yeah! that he's fired. <laughs> no, no, it's even... I almost stood up. I was going to throw a party. I was going to call you. No. <laughs> no, it's even better. The the same time they released that video, Bill Trini went on his personal Twitter feed and started saying goodbye to everyone like it's been real, guys. <laughs> and everyone thought, wait, what's going real. on? Why oh, do you God. hate Bill Trinan? I just, I despise that man. I don't know. But You're crazy, on, dude. Uh, like, like, that was the thing, though. Like, if they wa- if Nintendo wanted to please me, they they did it like honestly, I that made me just love everything. Like I was, I was so happy after that. So, <sighs> kudos to Nintendo, you gave me a fantastic laugh. Um, <laughs> um, now 
but this video game championship thing. Oh yeah, the uh, Nintendo World Championship. I is it it seems like it's just open to whoever even goes to the thing. Yep. Is that what it is? Yep. We got to go eventually, Ken. I know we do. We keep we've been talking for like since like high school. One day you're going to travel to California, go to like one of these big cons. Go to E3. Go to E3, go I, to Comic-Con, go to I, something. I, I I don't have the money or the time or the Honestly, combination. Honestly, like the most expensive part is just going to be like the hotel and the tra- and the uh the actual travel itself. I know. Like I we don't could ha- have we, that we money. could handle the tickets and the food and stuff like that, but other than that That's the problem. Hey, probably you could handle it since you've been working. Oh, uh, yeah, but, like, I, I probably could handle it, actually, but. <laughs> I really can't. So as being brutally honest or else if See, I could make it. If, yeah. If I was able to get into E3 like with a press badge because like people like Let's Players and stuff like that, they get press badges from E3 to go to the convention. Mm. So like, you, you can like interview and like record game footage and stuff like that. If I got the pa- okay. if I got the pass for free, and then I had to like figure out like the the uh, the travel situation and the hotel situation, I could probably do it. I might not be able to buy any kind of merchandise while I'm there, but I could probably mm. do it. Mm. That that's a, that's a cool. big that's a big if though. I mean, that would be really cool. If you get to interview a bunch of people and stuff. Oh, I'd just be interviewing everyone at Nintendo. It'd be amazing. Wow. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, um, right. But, um, yes, yeah, so I don't know. The video game championship thing. I don't know. It sounds interesting. Well, I you, mean, we weren't we weren't alive when it was around. So, mm-hmm. And it's funny. The I Nintendo really World know. Championship cartridge is the most expensive NES cartridge in the world. That's a game? What they did was, at the event, they made a special special cartridge for the event that had a level of Super Mario, a level of Tetris, and a level of a driving game. I forget which which one it was. But the way oh. it worked is, like, you would pl- start the game and be Mario. It'd be like, collect X amount of coins as fast as you can. Then it's like, uh, get to the end of the goal and the driving game as fast as you can. And then it's get a Tetris within this amount of time. And then it would add up your score at the end. And then, like, they that's how, that was the championship. They would compare scores then. So whoever got the highest mm. scores at the end of the day would win. Now, what happened was they gave out cart- cartridges of the game to everyone who participated in it. You got a, a plain uh, gray cartridge with the Nintendo World Championship logo on it. And the winners got gold cartridges. They're not made out, oh. of, they're not made out of solid gold, but it's gold plastic. They are the rarest NES games you can ever hope to get for. So yeah. impo- wow. so impossible to find. Even the even just the gray ones, even more. Like they're, they're like so rare. They go for a couple. I think the last one was like for twenty five thousand online. Huh. Yeah. So I doubt they're well, gonna. I doubt they're gonna do like cartridges again this time. But I want. Them, I think that'd be so cool if they like. Here's. You a, can download it off the eShop. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. Here's a demo. <laughs> Pretty much. But. Wow. Hmm. So. Yeah, that's interesting. Knowing more of like the format now, I'm curious what they'll come up with. Yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. Like, last year they had, they had the uh, Smash Bros. tournament, so. Well, no, 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 but that wasn't the world championship thing. Like, no, I know, but again, I think I think the reason why Nintendo's doing this is a the time lines up perfectly. It's been 25 years, and mm-hmm. the fact that oh, like because of the success from the last yeah, because okay. everyone loved the Smash Bros. thing last year. That was amazing. Yeah. Though that made me so jealous of like, why can't I use my GameCube controller? <laughs> that was like the whole thing. But yeah, um, that's cool. What else did they announce there? Not really much else. Not really. It was, it, mean, was if, it was a really funny montage of like Reggie training for like the championships. He was bench pressing the uh, the light guns. He uh, was in he little. Was, he was. Uh, lifting the game cubes. Yep, he was in, he was in Little Max pink uh, boxing training uniform. Uh, yep. he, 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 he was, was on the Virtual Boy too. Yeah, he was like leaning in, like fumbling with it, kind of making fun yep. of it. I, I, it was so yep. smart. Yeah, I, I like to see the old stuff. Um, and you know, it's bad though, because now, see, when you hang around Pete too long. And you hear so much about Frank all the time. 
And then you hear of how he equates to Reggie. All I pictured was Frank that entire time in that workout thing. Like, it just lined up perfectly. I don't know why. So, it was interesting <laughs> when I was watching that. But, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't Why know. I'm I'm ex I'm excited for E3, and I thought it was a really funny video. Again, the guys at uh, Mega sixty four helped work work on this one too, like they did last year. Well, I'm trying to think. I don't even remember a lot of E3. All I remember of E3 last year was just Treehouse, 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 Treehouse. No, no, no. Treehouse. no. I'm, I'm talking about last year's. Like in, last year, Nintendo did another video before E3 to like say what was going oh, on. Oh, oh. And there's when they had oh, like yeah, yeah. the the Reggie robot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be good. And, yeah. Oh. Okay. So now do you want to hear about the Miley Cyrus? No, not really, actually. No, you do. What is it? What is she doing? I don't care about Miley Cyrus. No, I don't care about her either. Then why but are we talking about it? Whole... Okay, well, listen to this. Okay, so. Please tell me <laughs> you're JK. It'll get better. Please tell me you're jk get... me. No, no, no. It'll get better. Um. So she does this weird thing for some hippie charity, I think charity, I don't know, backyard concert thing where she gets together, here's the thing, with like one other person and they sing like covers or something or at least one song with the person or something. And somehow it appeared on my Facebook or something to some extent. And because she did a song with Ariana Grande and you like her, I believe. Nope. Really? She's pretty, but that's it. Oh, I think she actually sings pretty well. I'll admit that. I don't like her whatsoever on the shows and whatnot because it just bothers me. But I think as an actual person and like her music, I, I do like it. But um, she did a uh, – now I can't remember the cover. Uh, I think it's an 80s song or something. Oh, my God. It was actually really good. So – well, for anyone that likes cover songs, which, Ken, I thought you're, like, the master of those things. You love those things. So, Miley Cyrus and Ariana, Ariana Grande. It's pretty good. Um, <laughs> now, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, Don't Dream It's Over, that song. Don't, I've never even heard of that song. Apparently, that's the name. I never knew that was the name. Um, trying to pull it up so I can just hear it. I gotta remember the line. Don't right. cry. Oh, oh, oh! Argentina. It's a song where it's like, "Hey now, hey now, do 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 do." Hey now, hey now. I love that song. There's a world between us. Okay, I like, I like that song. Yeah. And they did a cover. It was pretty good. Oh, look Not it gonna up. lie. Send me the link after the show is over and I'll listen to it. Yeah, yeah. You, you're going to say that. I mean, no. <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, yeah, so it was actually pretty good. Despite everything about Miles Harris. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Josh, I'm going to Comic-Con. Oh yeah, you did that whole ticket Got the, whatnot. Uh, it was such a disaster. They uh, said tickets would go live at 12 p.m. on the 13th. So I'm at work, and my lunch break's at 12 o'clock. So mm. I go on lunch, and I click on the link, and I, I, I get put into a virtual waiting queue. It's basically like, just keep, okay. this bra keep this browser open. It's like waiting in line, and then we'll let you in to buy your ticket, basically. Yeah. Two and a half hours later, I got in. Okay. And cool. luckily the passes were not sold out. But like I waited the entire hour for my lunch and I was like, uh, it's still going. So I kind of just like left my phone on in my office and like, uh. Now wait. Um, why? You left your phone on that whole time? If I, if I, the phone had turned off or I left the Safari browser on my phone, I would have been, I got knocked out of the queue. Why wouldn't you do it on a computer? Uh, can't do it on a work computer. Oh, they know that? Oh yeah, our, our entire office is like uh, blocked. You can't like go on any personal website. Oh okay, but uh, wow. Um, 
I'm just trying to think though, like, does it go by order or something? Because like, I mean, if you were there when it started, why would basically, you be? Basically, the way they worked is like, again, like thousands of people were like buying tickets at the same time and they all click on that link. All, like I wasn't, I wasn't like clicking on the link. Like first I must've been like far back in line apparently. And then the way the server worked was like, there was like maybe like a couple hundred dedicated servers that would take one, one person at a time. Oh. So again, it took a while, but I did get in. I did get the four day pass. So I'll be going oh, all cool. four days again in October. And I actually have, and uh, I think, I don't know if I told you or Pete this, but I bought uh, a new microphone. It's a lavalier mic that clips to your shirt and then you stick the pack in like your back pocket. So you oh, can... trust me. I know. I know what that is. Oh yeah. yeah. You, you all the stuff at your dad's show. So I, I yep, have one. I'm the, I'm the audio guy. So I do all that. Yep. See, and you're making fun of me earlier for saying audio people out there. No, well, no, because I know I just I, wanted them I, to I tell know. us if our, if our levels were the same. I know. I know. That's not technical. <laughs> but, but now I have a digital DSLR with a lavalier mic I can use. So I can actually do like, that's a, that's a wireless lav. Yep. Yep. It's wireless. Very nice. Yeah. So what are you using that for? That's going to be whenever we do stuff with, uh, like, um, I was telling Pete about this. We're going to do lots of like little, like our old fashioned videos, like our little sketches and comedies this summer. So like pairing nerdy up, nummies, nerdy cookers, maybe. I know. I but know. like we, we can use like the lavalier mic for that where we can't have a microphone just sitting on the te- on the table or anything like that. Though I guess, well, you only have one, right? Oh uh, yeah. But it, tr- trust me, I, I was testing around with it. Like it picks up everyone like to the left and right of you pretty well. Okay, well, I'm just saying then we'd have to be close together kind of thing like that. Yeah, and plus, like, don't don't worry. It, trust, it, it'll work for what I want to do. Cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, so we've got, I guess, big things on the horizon on your channel. Yeah, a lot of things working now, actually. You've got your own whatever you're going to be playing this weekend. We've got our weekly little... Yep. Whatever we like to call it, podcast. And I hope to be completely re- revamping like the YouTube page and everything within the next month or so. So that's exciting. Whoa! What are you gonna do? You'll see. Is that I, I, Ooh, yeah, it's... it will be a secret because I want. I want when it's finally done. I want to show it off to you and Pete because thank you guys. We're really excited with, with it. Now, what if one of us doesn't like it? Uh, then you can leave the show. Oh, okay. Well. Someone will have to break it to Pete. No, I <laughs> no, I think Pete's gonna love it. I think you might hate it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is now the K podcast. Yeah. How's everyone doing out there? <laughs> K K. <laughs> it's like that whole left Twix, right Twix. I'm gonna make my own podcast. <laughs> I would love if we did if we recorded our audio separately, but still had a Skype call. So like the K podcast, you just hear my voice. So like, hey Josh, how you doing? You don't hear a response, but if you listen to the J podcast, you hear the response. Oh, wow. So you need wait. To... That's really cool. <laughs> wait, can't you do that? You could, but to like sync it up, like we have to like one, two, three, clap, so you could sync it up, and then like you would have two YouTube pages open, one with the J, one with the K. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like when you edit this stuff, you have your level, you have my level. Like, oh, you have my audio line. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if your internet was really bad, where it was breaking up, we could just have you record your audio on your end and send it to me. I could totally do that. The problem... No, no, no. I mean, the way you do it right now, does it just record as one whole unit, or do you get to see any form of breakdown? Well, r- right now, I'm, re- I'm using a um, program called uh, Audio Hijack Pro, which is right now, it's recording any kind of audio that comes through on Skype. So, in another window, it has my audio where it's recording from my microphone, and I can see your audio coming through on Skype. So it technically So it, do, you, do you technically combine the two? No, no, no. It combines itself, but I, I can see the two different levels as they come in. Oh, because I'm saying if you can break it up like that, that'd be really cool to just do that for, like, at least one time. Have some sort of special thing. Because, well, well, you know, I forgot. I don't know why I forgot. I... You know, now I gotta look it up. It's like the thing where you can watch YouTube at the same time. Do you ever do that? Watch YouTube at the same time? I yeah. know I know there's like multi Twitch players you can do, but No, okay. Yeah, this is it. It's been so many years. I forget who I was doing this with, but it was pretty cool. It's called Watch Two Oh, so like... you so we're in sync as we we watch together. Exactly. Yes, I I I know that. That is a yeah, that's cool. 
Right, that'd be that'd be weird. We should we should try that one time. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it's just to watch a video. It's not like anything special. But for our, our April Fool's video, you and me will record JK separately, so we have to use both. <laughs> have to play at the same time for it to come through. Well, no, this this is just so I watch a video and you watch a video. No, 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 no I, I, know, I know that. I'm just saying we should go. Oh, um, just different thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just bringing it back. What we were talking about before. Oh yeah, I mean if we could do it, yeah. Yeah. That that'd be cool. <laughs> I like that. It'd be funny. I, yeah, I'd love to listen to the individual one off of that. I'm just like, you just hear this gigantic silence, and it's just like, yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, you're stupid. No, Kenneth. No, Kenneth. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have some sort of weird conspiracy theory that comes off of it based on what I said at certain intervals. I don't know. People could play Like, with Josh, it. you cool. realize everything you said to me today was the entirety of War and Peace. In order. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. I'm like, wow, I didn't know I'm that good. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that would be so creepy. <laughs> I know, but that's one of those weird things that I'd like to happen. <laughs> I, I know you would. Just out of nowhere. It's like, did you know this actually directly corresponds with it? I'm like, really? So, but you would get the credit partially because that means you would inspire me to inspire say things. Inspire you to such say things. things. Yeah. Things that could be construed. That'd yeah. be weird, yo. Yo. Oh, yeah, what's with you and this yo thing and you texting me saying, bro? I don't know, yo. It, it's just, it's uh, it's adventure time. Freaking all the times they say yo and bro and bros don't, like, betray bros. And yo, dog, yeah. what's it? Like, they say it so much. It just, it, like, I've kind of, like, absorbed it into my dialect the last, like, day or two. You know, they finally brought it back one mention in... The episode with Lemon Grab, with the one we were talking about earlier with the workout thing with Flame Princess, um, he said uh, algebraic. Oh, yeah, they have they brought back the math stuff a little bit. Well, he only said that one time, but... Uh, other, character, cool. other characters have been saying, like, in the Pillow episode, he says it in that one, too. And that's fairly recent. Mm. Okay, but... I don't know. I thought it was a nice little whatever. Because I remember that from when like I watched it. The very first it. ones, yeah. Yeah. So I remember algebraic, mathematical, or something. And, Have yeah. you seen the uh, Bacon Pancakes uh, New York State of Mind remix? Yes. It fits I thought together. it was okay. It fits together pretty well. It does, but I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, it's nice, but I like the regular <laughs> Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. When are we doing that? Is that going to be our first episode? I think so. The, that are that are making the nerdy cook- cookers. <laughs> that are cookie cat. Is that going to be the name? <laughs> I think so. Because every time we've like made a placeholder name, it's always stuck with the show. Like, okay, well, during- credit to Pete on that one. That's all Pete. That's right all there. Pete. No, but know. like back when we did Binding of Isaac together, you're like, so what are we calling this? The Steam Team. I'm like. Huh, that works. Okay, Steam Team it is. <laughs> now, oh, then wait, what was the name I came up with for the Dragon Ball Z podcast? Oh, I had to go back and listen to it. It was like the the three-star Dragon Ball buddies or something like that. I, I know, it, it was something. It was actually it was, decent. It was, was... That's, that's going to be it when we do that show. That's going to be what it is. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I'm really excited for that. That's something on the horizon. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be fun to do. Our second podcast. See, we're so popular that we've got two. By that, I mean we just wanted to do it, and now we have two. <laughs> There's no popular demand. Well, that's the thing. You and me, ta- you and me like, I always go back to this. Like Back in high school when you and me used to walk home together, we would have yep. long discussions that if we had recorded all of our conversations from the walk home, that could have been yep. a very cool like podcast idea. Like, uh, yeah. like shooting the breeze with Ken and Josh or something like that. Also, by the way, if someone takes that out of context, don't take that out of context. When he says, when we were walking home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> okay. So to really just paint a very realistic picture. Um, <laughs> from the high school to both of our separate houses, we were not together. <laughs> well, we were together, See, but... Now, you say that, you say that, and you said JK to the two heterosexual... See, 
You, you're very clever, sir. You brought it back from like an hour ago. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all it is is what? Well, what did it actually? It was like what it was, a half it was, hour it was, walk. It, yeah, it was a half hour walk of us holding hands together, and we were talking. Oh my <laughs> god! Okay, okay. No, I need to at least get my case out there. You could think whatever you want, but so it was a half hour walk, and basically. Uh, me and Ken, we lived basically just down the street from each other. So far away from and each other. It hurt when we get apart. I, I know. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so just street, whatever, is maybe, I don't know, five-minute walk, if even, kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, so some days it was just like, eh, we don't feel like taking the bus. So we just decided to walk, and then we'd catch up on things, talk more. Because, you know, when you're on the bus, it's like, maybe 10 minutes or something and then it's just oh yeah see you tomorrow kind of thing and then you know you got well, classes it was, it was whatnot, nice to so. like like in the fall we would get hot chocolate together and stuff like that because mm-hmm. that was on the way so it's like eh, why not yeah so we would talk like, we would sip, drink our hot chocolate i remember that's when i first showed you the potter puppet pals because we were le- the we what were the uh, potter pup uh the potter puppet pals oh I soup yeah. You- yep yeah that's when we were leaving knocking donuts i showed you that soup soup <laughs> But yeah, we would be mouse <laughs> with a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Dang it, Radcliffe! Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we we would walk home. We would just talk about all things anime and life and video games and basically what we're doing now, technically. But now we're recorded. And yeah. <laughs> so you're welcome. No. <laughs> but yeah, man. So. Now we're going to bring our talents to a second podcast with our good friend Alexander gonna... Fong. Exactly. Which I don't know how we're going I don't know how we're going to do that. Are we going to all be in the same room then when we record like watch the episode live and then like watch it together and then just, re- record We could right just do it. a Skype thing honestly. It's not Cuz the thing is though, it's coming out in the summer, but then it's going to keep going, right? Oh so yeah. How yeah. are we going to keep doing that in person? Right? Well, uh, hmm, we'll figure out a way. No, I mean if it's every week, just we'll do the same kind of thing. Like on a Saturday, get all together, get on Skype. I'm assuming he has Skype to some extent. Well, I, yeah, he he needs a microphone for anything. Uh, well, we'll work out the. Well, technical yeah, that, aspect, that's but, that's a long way from now. That's like off. Yeah, but I mean, we we could basically just do this, and that's it. So, yeah, it works. Yeah, it's all good. It's so all good. the one thing though for everyone, you better watch that episode. You better keep up with it. Because we're going to bring you all that good stuff. I'll probably like do like some kind of like previously on the Dragon Ball Z buddies. <laughs> like previously Ooh. on Dragon Ball Z. Like, do, like, Are you actually going to replay like little highlights? I'm Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool if you could make like a one minute recap that, somehow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take like the three or four like really funny jokes or, or topics we talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do that as yeah. like a previously on Dragon Ball, like whatever we call it. And then I think our intro is yeah. going to be the Chala, he chala, he chala, no, I don't know, yeah. Oh, so he, I, 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 like, you know that song, right? Oh, I thought you were just going to keep going the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know, then I was also thinking, that's that's all nice and good. Sure, I'm on board for that. But um, I was thinking, you'd be like, last time on whatever, and you all of a sudden just start playing a clip of them doing the Super Saiyan transformation. Ah. Like power up. Yeah, <laughs> just just yelling. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and well, to today is... <laughs> no, it has, uh, to be, it has to be like int- like two different people doing it. So it'd be like... Ah, oh, ah, oh. Now in this yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we just all of a sudden start saying it. No, I can't. But, uh, yeah, we got some ideas out there. Yeah, I'm, exci- works. I'm if, excited for that. I and think if anyone that's big Dragon Ball Z fans and has some ideas, not you, Fong, because you'll tell us it will work that out. But <laughs> anyone else. I just picture Fong getting ready to go to the keyboard. And then he hears, I know. <laughs> here's not you, Fong. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can, but we're going to talk about it between us anyway. I think but, our first episode is going to be uh, after uh, DBZ F comes out. Sure. Yeah, because that's going to lead right but, into the series. So. Wait, so let me get my final point. So anyone else that has some sort of recommendation for how you think we should approach it, and if you really like Dragon Ball Z that much and everything, 
Let us know what you think. We're always open to comments whenever. Apparently, we're popular for the the mi torta. <laughs> no. That's actually really cool. As of a day ago, someone watched that. Exactly. And, and they got that. Attention. And they got that far where they had asked, hey, what was that all about? So thank you all for listening, really. It means a lot to us. Yeah, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm playing it right now. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> There's like this gap, and then all of a sudden you just start bursting you, you, out. <laughs> you, hear, you hear me click, and then all of a sudden just me die. Oh, I, I mean, because cause we're recording everything. Like I can't be like dead silent. Like I'm trying to, you know. Yeah, but, I, I, I get you. But uh, yeah, it was funny. <laughs> So, very cool. Paying attention. Um, yeah. Um, you got anything else, Ken? Um, not really. I think that's about it. Uh, a lot of good stuff coming up this summer, though. I'm excited for our future prospects. Yes, yes. And thank you, everyone, for your viewership and yes. continued support. And keep spreading the news of the podcast and even where, the whole where channel. Can, where, where can they find the show, Joshy? You know what? You can find this on YouTube under Kind King 01, or you can actually find this on iTunes now in their podcast section by searching either Ken O'Connor, and I'm assuming you have your name spelled out in the description of the stuff on YouTube at well, least. Well, un- under the ar- under the artist, it says yeah. Well, yeah, on, in a uh, on YouTube, uh, it has both our full names there, so. Yeah, I'm just saying because if someone doesn't know how to spell your name, like we just that is K E N space O apostrophe C O N N O R. See, that's the trick. There's an O. And I'm single, ladies. See, you know, I remember Ken when I first met you all the time. It was always you made you made it a point that your last name had an O at the end because everyone always thinks it's E. I know, like, but I never confused it. But you always made it the point. I'm like, all right, right." (laughs) I'm like, I know. But, uh, yeah, so you can search it on the iTunes podcast under Ken's name, or you type in the JK podcast, exactly like that, with the included, and hopefully it'll be there somewhere on the list. It, it, it is on there, but it won't be towards the top until we get more reviews and ratings and whatnot. Uh, you can look for the JK little logo that you see on all our YouTube videos, and you'll see it right there. And we've got at least what the latest five episodes up there at a yep, time yep yep uh, it's like every five or six depending on, depending on how big the audio file is yeah so feel free to search us up that way we're on the go you know and uh yeah so let me, let me check right now see if anyone's given us a, like a rate or a view because i have Ooh. not i have not checked and i don't have the emails you when they do uh oh so now you're searching for it yourself whoa yeah Searching the JK podcast does not work. Search Ken O'Connor. That com- it comes up right away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, ratings and reviews. We have zero. Ooh. And Ooh. I just rated ourselves five stars. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um. But yeah. yeah so, so when guys, you look up, when you look, when you look up the show, no. just search Ken O'Connor. That's the best way of doing it. I mean, you could do whatever you want. You don't have to review it, whatever. But, no, you know, it would be no, nice no. if you got time. Please review it. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't like to force anything, but I'm just saying, you know, it'd be cool. If anything, give constructive feedback, whatever. We're open to, you know, any sort of comments. So. <laughs> All right, Josh, I don't, I don't have anything left. Do you have anything left? Uh, nope. Okay, man, sounds I gotta... good. <laughs> I got a ton of stuff, but I'm saving it to next week. You have nothing. What do you have? Uh, some yeah. kind of cake. <laughs> yeah, some kind of cake. I swear that's like my favorite line from Family Guy. Um, I'm obsessed with uh, I don't know Nurse Pound Cake. What? From, from Adventure Time. Um, oh, but I said from Family Guy. No, I mean just like a quote in general that's in my head right now. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's when bubble gum is like she fell into like the lich's pit and like is she gonna be okay doctor i don't know nurse pound cake <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i got you all right well um, thank you yeah, all so, again yeah we're done yeah th- thank you all again for listening to the jk <laughs> podcast this was episode uh was this 10 i believe this episode- is 10 man we've reached a milestone Woo! Dang, 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 number 10 
Da, 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 da. Celebration. Okay. Dun, dun, you are dun, the 10th customer. <laughs> what do I get? Right. Nothing. You get our brilliance. Yeah. All right. So thank you all for listening. Uh, 10 episodes strong. Let's go for another 10 before we leave the internet forever again. And then come out with 100 within like one day. <laughs> <laughs> a 24-hour podcast. Okay. If honestly we get that popular and people demand it, I will do it. <laughs> I know you will do it. You, you heard you it. Joke about it now. Oh, I, I would. I would definitely do it. Want, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You. You would do that. And Fong, it does I not count. Know. Fong, it does not count if you ask. It has to be people who don't know us in real life. <laughs> but like, I could just picture you. You have like million glasses of water on your desk. <laughs> you have some Mountain Dew out there. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I'd have my setup. <laughs> You know, all right. That's terrible that if somehow you kick your leg, <laughs> and they all fall. <laughs> you should be screaming. <laughs> now that would prompt ninety nine Matt Tate ninety nine to be like, "What happened?" <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Matt eight ninety nine eight ninety nine whatever. See, I don't know. I said Matt Tate. I don't know. It seems no, like Matt Tate. It, 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 Tate, Matate. I don't know. Matate. Huh. All right. Let's, we're going on for too long now. Thank you all, all right, for listening. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you all for listening yeah, to the JK Podcast. Until next time, I've been Ken O'Connor. I'm Josh Brennan. Stay classy, San Diego. Please. JK.